I never yeah. taken uh, steroid. In my, I don't even know where to get steroids at the end of the day. Um, I barely, you know, take uh, supplements. Um, they're saying it's coming from the ashwagandha. That's retarded. So, at the end lies. Of the day, I, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. So, the company, Ryan Garcia, accused of their supplements being contaminated with all strain. They already came out clarifying their supplements is free of all of the PEDs. And they test them on the regular every single day. In fact, their products, all of their products get tested by them and a third party. Therefore... For Ryan to claim only his neutral bio supplements is contaminated with all strain to make matters worse when Ryan provided his supplements, his neutral bio supplements to the commission and VADA, according to reports, his neutral bio supplements was already expired. To make matters worse, it was an open container, which that leads more to Ryan tampering with evidence than contamination. Since when the commission and VADA tested the original Nutribio supplements, they all tested negative for all strain. And Ryan did not even provide a sealed sample. He provided something that was already opened and expired. Which raises the questions, why will Ryan be even taking a supplement that's expired? Second of all, where did Ryan get this natural bio supplement that was contaminated from? Every other natural bio supplement doesn't have all strain. However, Ryan magically, his supplement did. So did he get it from the black market or what? Where did Ryan get his supplements from? Clearly it ain't from Natural Bio because they already clarified all of their supplements have zero R strain in it. Now, before I play the footage of Natural Bio explaining everything, I want you guys to keep in mind, this is not the first time Ryan lied about his supposedly contaminated supplements he did the same thing with another company called Gaia and even Gaia just like natural bio had to come out and completely debunk Ryan Garcia lying on their company which is why it just went from bad to worse when it comes to Ryan Garcia the more he lies the more he's getting himself into some deep shit excuse my French Check it out. Hello, I'm Mark Lazier, founder of Nutribio Labs, here to talk to you for just a couple minutes about the quality of the ingredients that go into Nutribio supplements. Now, the basis for any quality product is the foundation, which are the raw materials that go into it. If they are not of the highest quality, then the finished product can't be. Now, I take this very seriously, which is why I don't trust manufacturing to anybody. I do it myself right here in my own FDA registered and FDA inspected GMP facility. This facility has been audited multiple times by the FDA under 21 CFR 111 regulations. It's been audited by the USDA as a dairy facility. It's been audited by the state as a food facility and so on and so on. So if you've seen any of our videos, you see this is a pretty high tech facility. So why am I standing here around all these barrels and drums? It's not really the nicest part of the facility. But it's because this room right here, this portion of the facility, is probably the most important part of my facility. This is a quarantine and holding area for all raw materials that come in to my facility. You see, I don't trust manufacturers. I don't trust vendors to ship stuff to me. Once it comes in here, every single batch of every single raw ingredient that ever goes into one of my products stops right here, gets quarantined here, will go into a sampling room, a clean room sampling room, where samples will be taken, will go into our lab. The first part is our lab will test every single batch of every single ingredient to make sure it's what it's supposed to be. If it passes our testing, it will then go to a third party outside lab to further test it to make sure every single ingredient lives up to the high specifications that we set for it. Once approved by that lab and then approved by our lab, it is allowed to leave this holding facility and go into our warehouse where it then can go into the production facility. Let's take a look at some of the testing that we do in-house. Okay, so once we've quarantined the ingredient in the facility next door, the holding facility, we'll take a sample and we'll bring it into this room. Now this room is level one in quality control analysis. It's the first step. And what we're doing here is a test to make sure 
that the ingredient is what it's supposed to be. It's called identity testing. And we will do this test for every single batch of every single raw material that we bring in the, into this facility. Not only the batch itself, but we will take full samples, representative samples of the entire batch to make sure that we know that all the containers are what they're supposed to be. Now this is called FTNIR, which stands for Fourier Transform Near Infrared Spectroscopy. What this does with the laser is it'll analyze the ingredient and it'll create a spectrogram of the ingredient and compare it to a reference sample and tell us whether this is exactly what it's supposed to be. We'll then do other testing here, maybe pH test testing, or organolithic testing, particle size testing, to further prove out that that ingredient meets first levels of our specifications. If it does, a second sample will be prepared and sent to a third party certified lab. And in that lab, we test for purity, potency, composition, and contaminants. So we want to make sure that our specification is met exactly. For example, our creatine monohydrate, the specification is 99.97%, near perfect or higher. Once we've identified it here to be creatine monohydrate, that third party lab has to show us that it's contaminant free, it reaches that 99.987 percentage, and there's nothing in there that's going to hold us back from releasing it. If the third party passes it, once we pass it, then the quality control lab can release it from our holding facility and finally allow it to go into our normal warehouse where it can be released into production. In this way, we know that every single ingredient that we put in our finished product and create a product that's going to end up in your home has been tested completely and we know it matches our specification, our degree of perfection and then we have a product that gives you what we promise and that gives you the results that we promise. And that's the level of testing that we go through on every single raw material before it's released from this facility. First, Gaia exposed Ryan for Lion on their company name and now Natural Bio. I mean, when is Ryan going to stop lying? Especially when every single lie of his gets exposed immediately. First, Ryan blamed Vada, then Devin, then Bill, then Victor Conti, then the Gaia supplement, then the Natural Bio supplement, just to find out every single thing he said is a lie. Since Ryan team, his legal team told on Ryan, when they admitted they are supposedly victims of supplement contamination, now you blaming it on Ryan himself. He took something that had all strain in it. However, he can't provide where he got it from. And that's Ryan problem right now. Even then, that's why Vada came out and said, you are responsible for everything you take. If you have any question, you submit it to us. We're going to test it for you to give you the green light. So Ryan is responsible for everything. And that's another reason why Ryan's own legal team is pushing for Ryan to be suspended as well for three to four months, a lighter punishment. Nevertheless, they even acknowledge in the fact that Ryan cheated by proposing something like that, a suspension for Ryan. We talking about this is Ryan own legal team here. They even pushing for Ryan to be suspended for three to four months because they worried Ryan is going to be suspended for two to four years. On top of other legal matters, such as being sued from Devin Haney, Vada, and even the fans that bet on the fight. Due to the fact Ryan cheated, where he tested positive for all strain to the point where he was 60 times over the maximum limit. The day before the fight and the day of the fight, you guys have to remember the all strain PED is so unique. The only way a fighter can get his hands on it is through the black market, which is the reason why. Ryan is finding a hard time explaining where he got this all strain PED from. Even the supplements that he's claiming are contaminated when they tested the company supplements, they were not contaminated. They had zero all strain in them. Therefore, this only hints at Ryan tampering with his own evidence, which is going to get worse from this point forward. I told you guys. Three things that could never be hitting are the sun, the moon, and the truth. They will always come out eventually. Ryan testing positive for PEDs exposed a lot of people in the industry, in the boxing world, and outside of the boxing world. 
more importantly in the boxing world that actually report on boxing they got exposed for being uncle toms and race fans for having no morals to the point where they defending a cheater for cheating all because Devin haney doesn't have the complexion for the connection to get the ultimate protection anybody that says Devin is making excuses and this is a conspiracy to defend Ryan for cheating. They have officially lost all credibility due to the fact that this is not up for debate. Because according to Ryan's own urine, according to Ryan's own DNA, he tested positive for PEDs called all strain. People lie, men lie, media members lie, fans lie. However, your DNA don't lie. Science don't lie. When a woman is pregnant for three months, imagine these Ryan fans telling her, well, you're not really pregnant. That's a conspiracy in order to get child support. Like, what the heck is you talking about? This is a fact that is not up for debate. So I'm glad this Ryan Devin Haney saga is exposing the people in the industry and even outside of the industry by showing their true colors. I mean, how many times have Ryan lied and got caught lying? But you guys want to believe Ryan over science and his own DNA? All because Devin Haney is on the coincidental list. This is not a coincidence. And Ryan is on that hope list. They have a lot of hope. But the cold truth and facts trumps all of the opinionated emotional hopes. All day, every day. With the facts being laid out and the opinions kicked out of the door, go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below. And to be continue on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We had a chance to talk to Saul. So can I run? We had a chance to talk to Hey, what about the boxing league? Why is it a boxing league where you can do steroids? Yeah, I think they have it. It's called the Enhanced League. No, it's called Pride FC in Japan. <laughs> is it? Yeah, Pride. That's just nuts. Huh? Pride on the contract said you're allowed to use steroids. Hey, that's the only way it's even. Let everyone juice. I don't think you've been in the ring with someone that's on Oh, yeah. I thought Oscar Dorfman was just there. That motherfucker is crazy. Why? I hit him with some shit. Yeah. Bro, I'm, this thing was. <laughs> Terminated. I'm not, I'm not, okay, bro. Relax.